Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. So, the other day I woke up and I checked the weather forecast like I normally do. And I was looking at the probability of precipitation and there was something very ambiguous about it. And so this is what I think it's one of those things that people often they don't understand what it is that they're actually looking at and as a result there's something that if you don't understand what it's telling you the ambiguity can actually mean something wildly different and it's this that I want to basically convey in this vlog entry but also at the same time come up with a solution to it. So here's the problem. When you have a probability of precipitation, the probability is basically the confidence times the area. So how confident is the weather forecaster that a specific percentage of the area being described is going to have precipitation? So as a easy example, if a weather forecaster is 100% confident that 50% of the area is going to have precipitation, then the probability of precipitation is, you know, 100% of the 50%, which is 50%. However, if the person is only 50% confident that 50% is going to have the area, well, now you've got half of that 50%, which means you've got a 25% probability of precipitation, which, what, what is that telling you? Is it telling you like that somebody is 100% confident that 25% of the area is going to have rain, in which case it's not very probable? Or are they saying that, for instance, you know, it's going to be something different? And depending on like how you interpret this number or how this number can be arrived at, then you know, it means something completely different. Like what happens if, for instance, it's uh, you know 60%? Now, at 60%, you know they can't be 120% confident that 50% of the area is going to get it. So it has to be something a lot more significant. But any time that it's under 50%, this is where this ambiguity arrives. Because it could literally be that they are, you know, let's say it comes up as 20%, where they could be 20% sure that 100% of the area is going to have precipitation, which is totally different to being 100% sure that only 20% of the area is going to have precipitation. This is a problem. So having noticed that this is a problem, I started wondering, it's like, well, why don't they just publish? Here is the confidence and here is the area, so that at least you've got some idea as to how they arrived at the figure, because if they're not very confident, then it's a bit of a crapshoot. You might want to take an umbrella. If they're totally confident that it's not going to happen, then you don't take an umbrella. But having this like ambiguous area where it's, you know, 30, 40, 50%, like, no, like, I don't understand what that's telling me. If they gave us the underlying data behind how they arrived at this decision, i.e. give us the confidence and give us the area, well, then I can make a better decision about whether or not to take an umbrella. Now, this might just be, you know, me being an English person, I'm overthinking this because, you know, English people in the weather, it's a bit of a stereotype. But I honestly do think that rather than hiding behind this one probability, why don't they actually lay out the actual formula as to how they arrived at the probability so you understand what that number is telling you? Is it they're very confident or not very confident? <laughs> like, to me, this is common sense. But obviously it's not to other people, which I guess is why they haven't done it. But anyway, that's what I wanted to bring up today. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. But uh, if you like these, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you have an opinion on this, leave it below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.